ANC has extended an invitation to other political parties uh, that are interested in entering into a govern, uh, government of national unity. This comes after the party lost its majority for the first time since elections uh, last month, or rather since the dawn of democracy. But which parties would make a perfect match and bring stability in the country? To unpack this further, I'm joined by Dr. Harlan Kluter from the University of the Free State. Uh, Doc, thank you very much for your time on uh, ENCA. Obviously, when we look at the ANC, and uh, the rumors around which marriage is likely to happen on a national level. You look at the Democratic Alliance and there's a clash with their policies and a clash uh, with a lot of their promises in their manifestos. For instance, land reform. Uh, the DA is not really in support of that. It says, uh, you know, protect uh, the rights of owners of the land, for instance, or property. Good afternoon and good afternoon to your viewers as well. Mm. Sorry. Uh, look, the ANC have got the luxury, not, not the luxury, the ANC is almost like with their backs against the wall. Who do they, who do they select yeah. as a partner? Remember they, they said they want a government of national unity, but it is not up to these parties to, to want to participate in that government of national unity. They can, of course, also uh, some of these parties stay in opposition. So there are two schools of thought. The one says, if you want stability in government, and that's what the markets also want, mm. the markets favor ANC DA alliance. You remember before the uh, elections, the DA said the doomsday alliance of an ANC EFF MK alliance. So that is the alliance that the DA says will mean the, the end of South Africa as we know it, mm. because it, it will just be more corruption. Yeah, it says protect property rights. Yeah, that's what uh, the Democratic um, Alliance says in its manifesto here. But then you uh, compare, for instance, that doomsday. Uh, if you look at what the EFF is asking for, the expropriation of land without compensation,